Yeah, hi guys, I just thought I'd give you an update uh, from the last video on what I decided to buy. Uh, you probably can tell from the thumbnail that I decided to go with a Corvette. Uh, I thought about it for more than a month. I was even able to sit in a 458 Ferrari and kind of compare it to a Corvette. And to me, the Corvette's interior is far and above that of that 458 Ferrari. So you're looking at a 10, 15 year old Ferrari versus a brand new Corvette. I mean the technology in the brand new Corvette is greater, much greater than the technology that was available back then 10, 15 years ago on a Ferrari. And then when you factor in, you know you're going to have repair bills on that Ferrari and uh, it, at my age I just don't really want to deal with it. I'd rather have that three year bumper to bumper warranty on the Corvette. So, so it was December of 2019, I placed an order with a small rural Chevy dealer out where I live and to get on the list for an allocation. Almost two years later, they finally called me and said, what would you like to do? You know, your allocation can be awarded. And I said, well, be honest with me. What are you charging for markups right now? And they told me that somebody walking off the street, if they've got a new Corvette in stock on their own stock, it would be twenty to twenty-five thousand above the MSRP that they would charge. I says, well, what about me? He says, since you have an allocation, we're only going to charge you ten thousand dollars over the MSRP. So I didn't have to think too long, and I said, nah, I I, I think I'm going to hold back. And I got my I got my thousand dollar deposit back from them, so I'm on the wait list with another Chevy dealer, larger one than the one I had gone to originally. So now I can start figuring out what I'm going to do for colors, interior, outside, options, the whole gamut. And, you know, and right now there's some constraints on something that I'd like. I'd like to have the Mag ride, but I think at this point. If my allocation comes up in five, six months, whatever, and they, the constraint is still on for the mag ride, I think I'm going to skip it. I, I think if that's what's going to hold up the order, then I think I could probably live without the mag ride. So I'm kind of leaning towards Accelerate Yellow for the exterior color with the, the black carbon flash roof and the cells. I'm not going to opt for the Z51 package. I, for me, I'm never going to track the car. It just doesn't seem worth the $6,300 to get that package. And then, you know, if you want the mag ride, that's still extra. I think they call it an FE4 suspension. The Z51 suspension is strictly FE3. I don't need... Um, the bigger brakes, I don't think. I mean, there's only an 8. If you look at the specs on the Corvette, there's only an 8 foot, I think, stopping difference between the standard Corvette brakes and the Z51 um, brakes from zero or from 60 to 0, I think. As far as the horsepower, it's only a 5 horsepower difference on the Z51 to the standard Stingray. And I think I'm going to opt probably for the, uh, the, uh, the MPP exhaust because it looks like about 90% of guys get that optional exhaust, whether it be the Z51 option or just ordering it outright. Plus, I think, I'm, I think I'd really like to have the, uh, the black exhaust tips too, which I think is an extra 200 bucks. And the extra cooling from the Z51, I think it just pertains to the transmission. I could be wrong on that. And it just didn't seem worth it to me for that package. And then, and then beyond that, they don't tell you, but you probably need another set of wheels with another set of maybe all-season tires. And from what I've gathered, if you track that car, those summer special summer tires that come with the Z51 package don't last all that long. So overall, it just didn't seem worth it to me. And the one other thing about it, I mean, if you look at the specs, 
the uh, top speed is almost like 10 miles an hour slower on the Z51 than it is on the standard Corvette. I think top speed on the Corvette is 194, not the Z51 package, it's 184. Um, so they attribute that decline to actually the spoiler, which creates the drag that actually slows the car down. I mean, you got the downforce again, it's only, what, really worth it if you're going to track the car. And as far as speed 0 to 60, that's only a tenth of a second slower on the standard Corvette. What, 3.0 seconds versus 2.9? It just didn't seem worth the 6,300 package plus probably another 2,000 if you're going on another set of wheels and tires. So, that's sort of out of the question for me with the Z51. So, I'd be interested to know what you think about the uh, Accelerate Yellow. Um, I've looked at all the colors. We've gone around and, and tried to see as many Corvettes as we could with different colors. We just saw the Elkhart Lake Blue. We've seen the Red Mist, which I really was kind of disappointed with on the Red Mist, with all the hype there was on that color. So I'm, I'm not real fond of white. I'm tired of black. I'm tired of... I've had so many black cars, and I've had so many of those black cars with black interiors, solid black interiors. So I just wanted to change it up, um, just get something that I, I know I'm going to like, but um, I, I just felt like changing it up a little. I mean, I, I do like yellow, and I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, the yellow that they have. They're seeing, like, green shades coming out and this and that. And... Um, like this thing behind me, I love the yellow of this car. This is an 04 SSR, which that I'm going to be putting up for sale shortly. And the other bit of information is I had, some of you have followed some of my videos, I had a, uh, a Cadillac ELR, a 2014, and I just sold it about a month and a half, two months ago. I got a Good price because the used car prices are up now. And now I don't have to worry. I actually have a space in the garage if, if this Corvette comes sooner than expected. At least I have a spot for it now. So that's kind of a quick update as to where I'm at. And I'll try to keep you posted as any news comes forward or have made permanent decisions on what I'm ordering for the car. So leave any comments you want down below. I'd be interested in hearing what your thoughts are on colors. Um, the interior, we were thinking of Strike Yellow, but they got rid of that for uh, 23. So now we're leaning towards the Sky Cool Gray, uh, whether it be the 2LT or the 3LT. Um, and we're not sure if, if we get the Sky Cool Gray, whether I'd want to go with the two-tone seat where you have a black center seating area and the bolsters, the edges of the seats are the sky cool gray. So any comments you'd like to make, I'd be interested in hearing them. Okay guys, I'll, I'll talk to you soon.